Bigger biceps at the top of your Christmas list? This is gonna be the video you waited for all year. It's cool, young Reese. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you're celebrating, this is the time of year that we generally get and give gifts. Well, I wanted to give you guys a gift here at the end of the year to thank you for not only watching all year long, but to give you one of the things that you've been wanting so badly. You all write in, how do I get bigger biceps? Well, I think back to when I was a kid, I would always look forward to that big gift. You know, the one thing that I had on my list for months at a time and I couldn't wait to get it on Christmas morning. But then I started to have an appreciation for the things that were smaller that came in my stocking. My grandmother used to put the lottery scratch-offs in my stocking and I soon realized that for something very little you can get a very big reward. You know, one time I even won, I think it was a thousand dollars on one of these scratch-offs which was life-changing to me, you know, at the time. So I became really infatuated with the smaller things. What we have to do is see how can we apply that to working out. Well, again, I think we sort of tend to look at the big thing, the new workout. What's the new bicep workout that I can do to add inches to my arms? And then we often overlook what could be the smaller component, which is performing exercises that are geared towards specifically targeting the biceps the way that they're meant to work. So, with that being said, I wanted to show you a exercise here that would target our biceps in the anatomical way that they work in, in, in function. We know that for the bicep to work, it's going to flex the elbow. That's one thing we know. Okay. The next thing we know, and we can test this, you, you do it right now yourself, if you hold your arm out straight and you just turn your wrist back and forth, you can see how you get movement right here at the bicep. So we know that it also supinates or turns the wrist up. The last thing it does is it actually flexes the shoulder. The long head of the biceps, there's two parts of the biceps, that's why it's called the biceps, is going to actually flex the shoulder. Okay, so if we don't have any kind of flexion here, focusing in on this part of the shoulder, into our bicep exercise, then we're overlooking one major component of what the bicep does. So sometimes, again, those little stocking stuffers are Let's see if we can focus on how that muscle actually works so we can get better results without having to worry about a whole new bicep workout just by doing better exercises and doing it the right way. So what I do is I come up with an exercise here. We're going to get down low. Now I'm going to show you too how you can do this with a pull-up bar in your bands. We're going to get down low and then lean back and at this point you can see that the bicep is already sort of the, 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 sh the shoulder here is already sort of flexed up high. We know that if we can turn the wrist, we have that supination component going on. And then we obviously know that if we flex the elbow, we're going to get that part of the biceps too, right? That function of the biceps. So if we start off here, as we're coming forward, we're, we're going to externally rotate the hands, you know, supinate the wrist, and then flex the elbow, and then move the hand back behind the body because that's going to flex the shoulder even more. Okay? At the very top, it would look like that. And I can tell you right here is a pretty intense contraction of the bicep. Okay? Here, turn it, flex it behind you. Turn the wrist, flex, and then pull it behind you. Okay? Just like that. Now, how do I do that on a pull-up bar? Very easy. I just come right here. I have a band tubing wrapped right around the top of a pull-up bar. Lean back. Same deal. Down, curl, and twist. Just like that. I don't know what you want to call it, but I would call it 
of move to bigger biceps. All right. Now, what does all this illustrate once again? It's that don't always focus so much on the new bicep workout that you're going to do. Instead, focus on learning how to do some exercises that really target and work the bicep the way it's meant to be trained. And that's what Athlean X is all about. Athlean X is a complete training system that not only gives you the proper way to do these things, based again in my physical therapy background, in physiology, muscle physiology, but it also puts it all together in a workout program that doesn't make you have to choose one or the other. So you don't have to choose the workout, the new workout, or doing exercises properly because the Athlean X program gives you both. It gives you a 90 day workout and it gives you all the types of exercises that work the muscles the way they're meant to be trained. If you want to look like an athlete, you got to train like an athlete. This is what Athlean X is all about. And here we are, my gift to you. Bigger biceps, you can cross that off your list, guys. Start training like this. Start using the Athlean X system and you'll be getting yours as well. Back here one more time in 2011, another Athlean X workout coming at you next week. Getting ready for New Year's Eve. Really fast forwarding ourselves into the best year ever, 2012. I'll see you guys next week. Merry Christmas.